Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I'm on my way to an appointment uh, in Spirit Lake, and uh, we're having a really major snowstorm today. So I wanted to uh, here. I'll show you what it looks like outside. <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, getting ready for the kind of weather we have on not every winter, but most winters. Uh, where we live in Bayview, uh, the power goes out quite frequently, and so we have a, uh, a portable generator that we, uh, Laura and I, got ready yesterday. We put it in a safe location where it wouldn't catch anything on fire. Uh, got all the cords and everything set up. We were able to hook our generator up to our house, and uh, we have a transfer switch on our electrical panel. And then most everything in our on our house is uh, including the furnace runs off of that generator so we have a dual fuel generator I definitely highly recommend those because uh, if for some reason you run out of gas then you could switch it over to propane and uh, or if you have any issues with you know supply and demand whatever you have uh, an alternative so yeah and then uh, you know we also have a carport that uh, it was made probably in the 50s or 60s, maybe 70s, and the um, uh, the uh, the trusses for the carport are just like some old aluminum, weird uh, custom-made things, and they're spaced more than two feet apart, more like three or four feet apart, and so we had um, a couple of kayaks hanging from those trusses that added to the weight, and then the previous snowfall. So we knocked the snow off of the roof, uh, took the kayaks down, put them in our basement, and uh, so that if we got the snow that they're talking about today, somewhere around 20 inches, uh, that extra weight did not cause the carport to collapse and destroy Laura's car. So some other things we did, you know, we made sure that we had our uh, flashlights ready, uh, candles, things like that. Uh, we're on a well, this is another important thing to figure in, uh, a well, runs off of power and so because we're on a community well there's about 14 or 15 people on it uh, when the power goes out once the pressure tanks are uh, bled through and everybody uses up that pressure and water there's no water for you don't know how many days so we filled up several five gallon containers of water to be able to flush the toilets because you know you could just dump about a third to a half of that five gallon bucket and it'll flush the toilet successfully and we also filled many containers that were good for uh, drinking water so we could still have, you know, a cup of coffee or whatever since our generators letting our uh, electrical outlets still work. Um, we also uh, have a gas fireplace. And so even though the fan, uh, in our case, that will work because we have the generator, if you have a gas fireplace, uh, you know, and, and the gas might still work. So if you have a gas stove, it's wonderful because you could just use a lighter and, um, and still light the burners, you know, with the gas if you need to, uh, to cook. Uh, with a gas fireplace, just make sure your pilot's on and that it's working to where if you need it for heat because your furnace isn't working, then your fireplace is an alternate source of heat. Uh, remember the fan, if you don't have a generator, the fan will not circulate that air, but it'll still warm up enough to where, uh, you know, it'll be a heat source. So that's about it. Um, let's see, a few other things. I covered my vehicle before my appointment. I covered it last night with a tarp so it wasn't uh, so hard and the uh, windows weren't iced up and the handles were hard to open everything like that. I covered everything up with a tarp so today I just yanked the tarp off and broomed a few things off and I was good to go. Um, uh, when I get home today I'll definitely be plowing uh, to make the, you know, getting in and out easier but anyway. That's just some things uh, we're, we do to prepare to get ready for a big storm like this. Uh, it doesn't look like the, um, the power lines are really accumulating a lot of snow. So it's a light, flakier snow. So even though it piles up on the roof and the roads, um, it's not really accumulating much on the power lines. So hopefully that's a good thing and that means that our power is not going to go out. Uh, but, you know, it accumulates on the trees and if a branch breaks or a tree falls, you know, that's usually what makes our power go out. So there you go. There's the skinny. So there's the real estate takeaways of the day. Uh, some of the elements of how to handle a snowstorm uh, in North Idaho. It's absolutely beautiful. And drive careful. That's one other thing is you got to have studded tires. Even if you have four wheel drive, all wheel drive, highly recommend uh, studded tires because 
you just even with sipe tires you still seem to slide around and you don't have control so uh even if you have studded tires though a lot of people with four wheel drive and studded tires they drive way faster than they should uh more recklessly and you just when you don't have control you start skidding out uh that's when the adventure begins so you don't you don't want that adventure all right guys thanks for watching god bless take care bye